Hey everybody, I'm sorry you glad just call me Glenn and close you bucks. This is Final Fantasy 15. I just platinumed Kingdom Hearts 3D, so I was coming because I was, didn't have much left for that, so I plan to do that and then come back and experiment with the timed quest that just released, which is the Dread Behemoth. That guy sitting right over there. Um, as you can see with the timed thing it started the 13th or 14th of march and will last until the 20th at 10 o'clock yeah at least where i live i don't know if that's where i live or where the server for the time quest is or what but yeah so it will last until 10 o'clock whenever i don't know i've done every time quest the first one was a hundred cactuars and slactuars you gotta kill them all last one was malboro malbo doom and that's really annoying. Then, now, it's a Dread Behemoth. Uh, I haven't fought him yet, so this is kind of blind. But I'm excited about that AP reward. 999. Because I haven't done, I've done AP grinding, but I haven't, like, I haven't maxed everything out. All I have left is a couple 999 things. Like, I think, like, 8 or something. 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, yeah. So that'll... Push me immediately to five left. Because it takes forever to grind AP. Which is why I like the big things for it. But anyway. I just will go with my gear. I don't know if I'm going to set up differently. I'm going to go with just the basic. um, the Basic clothes. And I have Bow the Clever because I learned how just insane that is with Overwhelm. I heard people being like, yeah, use Blow the Clever. It's really fast. I didn't try it out until the Malba Doom quest. And I'm like, holy cow. But anyway, I have no food buffs. Level 120. So, this will be fun. I just wanted to do this because I haven't... I don't think I've uploaded 15 video other than Sword of Gallant Versus. And this will be part of Sword of Gallant Versus. Because this guy, I think, is a level 140. Where our max level goes to 120. So, accepted. Here we go. <laughs> oh, um, okay. You don't like me. I can see that right now. What? Oh. Oh, this. This is gonna be fun. Especially since I haven't really put a whole lot of playing into the game in a while. Other than to do all the slack to our cat to get into the stuff. Up, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, he weak yeah, weakened by that. Nope, he is he is he is a feral beast, he is not a demon. Uh, or I wanna call it Damon, because I think that's how the I don't know, I think it's either way. Uh Elixir! Ignis! Drink it. I don't have it. Okay. Seriously? I just did this and I can't go into like wait mode and check this guy's health or anything. Cause I don't ever use wait mode. Oh. Oh, what? He just killed Gladio. He just one-shot Gladio. <laughs> um, overwhelm him. Ah, oh, I forgot to put on Bo the Clever. Well, crap. <laughs> wow, he can actually one-shot us. Um, that makes me kind of nervous. This makes it fun. He is level 140. Block. I don't have the Black Hood equipped because the Black Hood is no fun. Oh, uh, glad he isn't being. Well, he's gonna die. This is what Bo the Clever does. I hope everyone, no one has like seizures or anything for flashing lights. Oh, 
Ooh, ooh, Gladio. Um, perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, like one max HP. But this guy is ice elemental, so I could actually. Now that I think about it, um, here, Noctis. I don't have Magitech V2 suits either, because I did not really feel like putting those on. Uh, Mighty Darkness Hunters. Uh, Mighty Guard. Yeah, that could work, but I only want ice, so let's see. Do I have anything for double A's ice? Just a lot. Probably not. Nope. So I guess the Mighty Guard will have to do. Oh, wait. he was invulnerable for a second. What? What did he do? Oh, Ignis is in danger. I can't. I can't do that with Ignis dying. It up, Ignis. With everything we have. It might be better to put. Um, no, it wouldn't. I try to buff his vitality as much as I could. However, he doesn't have. Um, vulnerable. Why is he saying he's vulnerable? That oh, Ignis, can you like uh, you the guy? Is he weak? To he's very ice heavy. So I wonder. Uh, gear, Ignis. Leave Elementia. Let's see if he's actually weak to fire. Well, he just used lightning, so... I'll give it three chances and see whether or not he casts a wizard. Yeah, that's lightning again. So I'm guessing he's weak to lightning. Prompto, stop dying! Jeez! So we'll give Ignis. Ah, uh, that's not Ignis. Over one back. This is why I have Mega Elixirs. And just as a note, it like the behemoth that is in. Well, spoilers. Behemoth that's in Insomnia. He has wings. Of course. The thing about. Uh, Think about this, the wings is. Um, I think it was a concept art for the very first original Final Fantasy had a behemoth with wings on it. But behemoths were never given wings until 15, with the behemoth in Insomnia having wings. I forgot what it's called, like great. Be I think it's a great behemoth that's there. My only thing is, um, we're under ice like this the whole time. And I'm playing on normal. There's no hard mode. Unfortunately, items, item spam is very good way to keep yourself alive if you have items. It does not work in Castle Mark Tower Dungeon, but that's why you have um What is it? Heal cast, because it restores your max HP. If only your party members should use it though. This. And we'll use one on Pronto. What? Oh, um, I'm in two encounter circles right now. I just realized that. Oh, it's a dual horn. Dual horn aggro to me while there's this giant thing I'm trying to kill. What? Freak it! Gladio, you have the highest vitality and HP. Why do you keep dying? Gladio. Okay. Did Gladio actually use it? No, he did not. Use it. 
come back to life. That dual horn needs to die. I'm not gonna retreat. What level? <laughs> we took a um, Nagofar at like level. Seriously, guys. At like level like 80 something. We can do this. Or was he at level 99? I think I was. Ah, and prompto stuff that. Jeez, what a long fight. I like it though. Too bad they're going to actually get rid of this. Like, I don't understand the time quests because they're going to put all this effort into. Um, I think it prompto a thingy. Yep. Actually, he probably needs a high one. Let me give Prompto a thingy. Okay, he was already using something, that's why. Take that. Oh! Oh, the ice is going away. He's gonna, he's gonna... Oh yeah, I just need a normal potion. I know it seems kind of cheap that I'm just doing this over and over again, but it's... It'll help shoot through him a little bit faster, otherwise it'll take forever. Oh, there it is again. Go through all my mega elixirs on these. Or, you know, just kill myself from warp strikes. Jeez. You guys just die so fast. Prompto. Okay, there it is. Okay, every t hit is critical. There we go. And apparently someone did blind side. What's that mean? They put all this effort into making a new behemoth, and it's just gonna go away after some time. Get back! Hey, buddy. No. Oh, uh, I... Ignis, I kind of need you alive for what I'm about to do. actually made him really resistant to royal arms it makes him the only enemy okay. in the entire game that actually resists royal arm attacks wow up, up, up. <laughs> whenever he jumps in the air he's gonna take it back away because he's gonna try to explode ice everywhere again I have 99 elixirs. I just want to note I have 61 now. Seriously, Ignis, stop it. <laughs> I know your vitality sucks, but stop it. Down, Dawn Hammer. Watch out. 
Uh, I did not mean to do that. I need to change that off of you. Prompto, star shell. Uh, we're gonna change that to uh, recoil. It's nothing. Oh, it broke something. Get up and use the elixir. This is just awesome. I want to see how people actually like deal with this. Like, be very good at the fight. Then again, you only have like a week to get good at the fight. So, and by the time that week's over, it's not going to be worth it anymore. Uh, he's, he's resistant to great, or not, great swords, yeah, I was about to say great arms. No, we're actually, uh, um, keep Dawn Hammer, it'll be better. Oh, I missed the button. I elixir on Ignis. Gladio should probably use one too before he gets one shot. I see why this fight gives you 999 AP now. Ah! Put Prompto Danger right as I started it. Why do ranged attacks seem to be good? Prompto, seriously, do you know how expensive Phoenix Downs are? Jeez. <laughs> First enemy I built up. I've done like everything in this game other than the... What do you call them? Finishing off the... Like the search and rescue type missions and the broken car missions. Ragnarok? It's about them. So what is my... What do you drop if I kill you? That, that's one thing I want to know. Because like fighting the Cactuars, they drop Mega Potions and Remedies like all the time. And very, very rarely will drop a Mega Lens. Which makes it... Yeah, made them kind of great. If I could get better at timing Impervious again, I went to all these issues. If he hit me, I can just heal. Hey, 
Die on me. So many items. Whoa, I'm your friend, Behemoth. Behemoths are friends. This could get wild. It's wild enough as it is. wish they were smart enough to do that. <laughs> like, you know, after the first five times, maybe it would be okay that they got one shot by that. But you would think after so many times, they would just learn, don't stand that close to him. Is he regening? I thought I just saw regen. We have not left the encounter so far. We're, we're like hanging right near the edge of it. Ugh. I actually don't know how to respawn this guy, otherwise, I just go in wait mode and Libra him. See if it will tell me how much HP he has. Whoops. Tree is getting in my way of warp striking. Prompto, I just gave you an elixir. What? Seriously, what just happened? I gave you two elixirs and they did nothing. Got him! Five mega elixirs. Oh, that gives me back probably about as many as I used. 30,000 EXP, so not really worth it. 999 AP. Oh, but he fades super fast, so it's gonna go stand in the crook of his arm. Oh well. Uh, Impeccable. So let's see. Yep. You get like nine oracle corn corns. No, coins. You get a ton of gill. One mil one point one point two five million. Uh their EXP isn't really worth it. But yeah. I wish I would have recorded the other two, but I never didn't get that far. Now I have almost 2.3 million gil. That's awesome. Uh, I want to just flop onto a hotel bed. <sighs> Cannonball for me. Save though. Well, I guess that's it. I would. Uh, yes, I want to save there. That's my main save file. <laughs> 145 hours. Camp's not gonna cut it. I hard. like this game way too much. <laughs> but anyway, um. Thanks everyone for watching. I guess this is part of the Sword Glant series versus series. Because it is a super boss. He is uh, level 140. It's the highest level enemy since now Nagofar, which was 120 when our max was 99. 
How dare you interrupt me? And on we go. Nice little Indeed. talk. Ah, uh, and the Magitek is coming. <laughs> Screw you, Magitek! Oh, wait, are they coming or are they leaving? I think they're leaving. Again, I have not fought Matt, Max Angelo or whatever it's called because have, I have not had a Magitek and didn't drop it. But anyway, yes, this will be part of Story Glant versus series. And, yeah. So if they release another high-level super boss type time quest, I will make sure to record it. And I will upload it as part of Story Relent Versus. I will keep doing that as long as they keep releasing high-level enemies. Unfortunately for the Dread Behemoth, he did drop 5 Mega Elixirs. But, I did about that much. I used about that many to keep everyone alive. So it's not... To me, the Dread Behemoth really isn't worth farming for anything over and over again because he didn't really drop anything worthwhile i might just have to um fight him just the once unlike like the marlboro and malbadoom unlike the cactuars which i fought 48 times because it was good exp but anyway thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you in whatever comes next enjoy this shot of magitek engine running away from her mighty power of them watching us kill the dread behemoth <laughs> See you.